When I was a young boy, my teacher took me into her office to talk about careers. She said, son, when you grow up, what is it you actually want to do with your life? And it's a sort of question you get asked a lot at school throughout the years. And to my, you know, young, naive mind, um, I stalk, my go-to answer would always be journalist, because that seemed like a really wholesome profession. Now, I bring up this whole journalism shtick for a reason, because last week something quite interesting happened. I got approached by a company called The Sportsman. Sorry. N nice shirt, by the way. Cheers. <clears throat> and basically, they got in touch and offered to pay me to live tweet uh, the Lions game from. Now, this will come as no surprise to my, um, you know, long time Twitter followers, because for the past part of five years now, I've been providing, you know, real time incisive analytical analysis of games. I mean, some bit is better than that. Some bit is just, you know, stress relief, but some of the tweets are better. Anyway, so Saturday the 1st of July goes on to be quite a historic day. Um, New Zealand suffer a first ever loss at home under Steve Hansen. The Lions get their first win on Kiwis for 24 years. But far more amazingly, I'm actually working before 9 in the morning. The game kicks off at 8.35. Jeez. You know, it's a fun thing to do. I enjoy tweeting at rugby. Um, but at the same time, you're thinking, nothing's happened. Should I be tweeting? Or are they expecting me to tweet? Must try and be funny. Must get those retweets. Must get those likes. Must not offend anyone. And to be fair, that went, you know, pretty well, in fact. I only managed to piss off two people, um, to my knowledge at least, um, they were rugby league fans, and let's be honest, it doesn't take much. So, you know, I do my stint on my Twitter, um, and it seems to go down well, they like it. In fact, they posted um, a rather lovely tweet afterwards, um, talking about my debut, or should I be debut? And it's a curious moment back, because I'm thinking, you know, will I stay a one-cap wonder, like I said to say, well, or... Jack Cuthbert, or will they, you know, will be a second shot, and happily enough, they didn't let me back for the third and final test. Um, I'm actually recording this before the game, but let's just assume that all blacks have won, but let's just assume the Lions have pulled off a great victory, well done, Warren Gatland. Uh, now you're probably wondering, gee, Graham, I do sure love your tour stories, they're swell, but uh, what does this actually have to do with journalism? Well, you see, in my mind, at least. Um, so, you know, since it was a paid gig, and I was getting paid to tweet or write about live current events and you're being published, yeah, that makes me a journalist.